this turned out to be the best decision I've ever made in my life. Ask so. yourself that question. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? If it's not bad at all, then try it. Thanks for tuning in to a new episode of Hong Kong Stories in New York. This is Martin. Today we are at the Dumbo area in Brooklyn to meet our special guest of the evening, Jessica Lee. Jessica Lee is an actor, singer, and so much more. She has been active in the Hong Kong entertainment industry, working with various prominent creatives and actors. In the eyes to many, she's well on her way to a successful career in Hong Kong. Yet, just two years ago, she decided to press a reset button, moving to the Big Apple to embark on her own creative journey as an actor. We had to move to pay for my first semester of college. We had to move to a smaller place. You didn't pay for my education. This is her story. I will be complex. I will be cool. Thanks for having me. Um, I am an actress, model, um, Chinese calligrapher, a certified personal trainer, and uh, I think I can call myself a singer too. I do a lot of things, so I think, I guess I can call myself a, a slasher. I officially moved to New York uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to do really everything and to get the most out of it. Like I said, I do acting and um, it's not only you know film and TV, I do commercial acting, I do modeling, even hand modeling. Like I never thought I can become like a hand model because I have these sausage fingers and I'm the most awkward person in this whole wide world. So I, I used to just pose like this. <laughs> I'm enjoying my life now. I'm living my life to the fullest right now. <laughs> Let the players play I'd be just like Well, it wasn't all planned out It wasn't planned out at all um, I first came here in the summer of 2017, I think And uh, I was only here for this summer intensive acting course And it only lasted for like two months, I think Or a month and a half It was really fun And um, I remember I think the first week through the, the course, my acting coach asked me if I ever thought of just staying here and develop my career here. And I never thought about it before because, you know, I don't have family here and I don't have like a visa or a green card. So the question kept lingering in my mind and I did some research and I talked to people because it's a summer intensive course and a lot of uh, students, my classmates, they're from all over the, the world and they're not exactly like young, like some of them are like, like 60 years old and I talked to them and it kind of just expanded my mind. I was mind blown. They made me think how I want to live my life. So before I came to New York, before I talked to these people, I always had these deadlines in my head. Like I, I was lived by these unspoken rules that, you know, before 25 years old, I have to get married. Before 30 years old, I have to have at least one kid. Like, I, I don't know why I had all these like unspoken rules and set in my, in my head and it was ridiculous and I came here and I was like oh I can live life that way I can do whatever I want I can experience so many things and so I started you know to do some research and um, I found out about the OMB, OMB visa which is an artist visa and then um, I hired a lawyer and um, you know it was a roller coaster ride but then fortunately I got it finally and um, I was also lucky enough to win the green card lottery so the rest is history. Cool. 
So before, when I was in Hong Kong, people know me because of the name Wang Tamying, but it's not the it's not the whole of me. It's a part of me. Um, it's a very important part of me, actually, and I'm always grateful for the name and my previous company. But then um, that's just a small part of me, and I'm now exploring this whole new part of me, which is full of adventures. And when I'm here, I'm always so delighted, I'm always so happy that people actually hire me for my t talent and for my, you know, hard work and that they actually enjoyed my audition tape. That's why they hire me. I feel very accomplished that way, even though maybe the money is not as good. Um, but I felt accomplished. And um, I want to be able to play different roles. I don't want to be stuck in that one role. But don't get me wrong, like I'm always grateful for you know my previous company and I don't hate fame. I I always joke about it, I don't want to be famous and but then you gotta be famous for for something, right? And I want to be famous for the right reason. And being famous is just a byproduct of your hard work, of whatever you do. So I want to be good at my craft. I want to be good at what I do. Okay, so a lot of people call me brave, but I don't think myself that way because because I'm always scared. I'm always I'm scared of everything, literally everything. But then, whenever I feel scared, I ask myself a question. Am I gonna die? Like, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? If not, then why not? Why don't you try it? Why don't you, you know, try to step out of your comfort zone and expand your comfort zone? Then you can be comfortable everywhere. Oh my god, definitely the milk tea. <laughs> As, you know, okay. It has to be Cha Zhao too. And I think some people don't know what Cha Zhao is. Cha Zhao is, uh, you know, regular Hong Kong milk tea, but without the sugar. Um, and you add condensed milk. And that's like my favorite beverage in this whole world, is the best. And I can't find any good Cha Zhao in, in New York. Not at all. I miss that so much. I think what makes Hong Kong special is not its food or, you know, the lights, and the skyline. It's definitely the people. Hong Kong people are very smart. They are very capable. They are tough and adaptive. One of the reasons why I came to New York is because I think New York is kind of similar to Hong Kong. Um, you know, the lifestyle, the people too. I really like this line from the song. The song called New York State of Mind. It says, um, if I can make it here, I can make it anywhere. So I feel like they can shine everywhere. No matter if you're in New York, no matter if you're in, you know, UK or in Hong Kong. Just don't give up. We will always find a way because what's important, what's, what's most distinctive of, of the Hong Kong culture is the ability to make things happen. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Hong Kong Stories in New York. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you on our next one.